Harvard University is by far the most iconic college in the world. And even though this place may have amazing academics, a great location, and one of the most powerful alumni networks in the entire world, there's still one thing about this place that brings in the world's best students more than anything else. Harvard's campus is really fucking nice. Now I've spent a ton of time with Harvard students over the past year and I've seen hundreds of campus tours go by while I've been filming. And even though these campus tours might be super aesthetic and load you with information, most of them aren't very genuine and they're kind of boring. So today we're back in Boston to show you every single part of Harvard's campus. The good, the bad, the ugly. And I'm gonna try and do it in less than 10 minutes with real information from students that actually go here. So I'll meet you guys over at our first stop, the Old Yard. Located right at the bottom of campus past the iconic Harvard gates, the Old Yard is probably one of the busiest places on campus. I mean, all around the yard, you're gonna find a ton of the freshman dorms, some nice areas to hang outside and study, and a ton of tourists flocking around to see the one and only John Harvard statue. And even though most people come here to take pictures and rub the foot for good luck, between you and I, if you see this motherfucker, run far and run fast. I mean, just to start, the entire statue's clickbait because the guy on top isn't even John Harvard. The date on the statue isn't even when Harvard was founded. And the whole damn thing has become the number one target for students to pee on campus. I've heard all the horror stories, I've seen it myself. So if you're looking to take a nice picture while you're here, look no further than the Harvard Yard, where students don't usually pee on things. Now the Harvard Yard is by far the most iconic part of campus. And even though there's more tourists walking around here than actual students, considering the deep history this place has, you really can't blame them. I mean, right behind me, you'll find the Memorial Chapel, which is by far one of the prettiest churches I've ever seen, a bunch of general education buildings, including Robinson Hall, and right on the other side of the yard, you'll find the iconic Winder Library, which is literally named after one of the biggest bookkeepers in the world who died on the Titanic. And even though it's exclusive access to students only, you already know your boy had to sneak in and get those aesthetic shots for you guys. Oh. Oh my gosh, why? But if sneaking into buildings and getting into trouble really isn't your thing, shameless plug, then right outside the Harvard Yard, you have the Houghton and Lamont libraries directly next to Widener, which is kind of fitting considering where we are on campus. Now, this is what I like to call the artsy side of campus where you're gonna find everything that has to do with creativity, such as the humanities buildings, literature houses, the art museum, and Emerson Hall, which is literally named after one of America's greatest philosophers. I mean, come on. You can't beat that shit. But if you're looking for a nice place to kick back and start a new book, then look no further than the Harvard Plaza. I mean, right outside the old yard, you're gonna find a ton of different places for students to chill out and study. Right next door, you have Memorial Hall, which is home to the iconic dining hall straight out of Harry Potter. And right in the middle of the plaza, you'll run straight into the one and only Science Center, which is kind of fitting because all the buildings behind it, they're, uh, they're the science building. And usually this is the part in the video where I make a joke about having at least a 1500 SAT score to even be on this side of campus. But considering you need at least a 1550 to even get into school here, it takes a freaking genius to be on this side of campus. I mean, this is very obviously the STEM side of campus where you're gonna find all these colossal science halls, super modern engineering buildings, and a bunch of aesthetic places that bring a futuristic vibe to the campus. And to top it all off, you have this super cool archway which doesn't have any significance to it, but I thought it was kind of cool, so I figured I'd throw it in. But if you walk straight through the archway, you'll end up right in front of yet another library on campus. And not only is this library the coolest one in my opinion, but it also doubles as part of the Harvard Law School. Now this area is by far my favorite part of campus, and as far as a good vibe spot goes, this place really checks all the boxes. I mean, it gives off the same outdoorsy vibe as the Harvard Yard, but with a lot less people around. There's a bunch of nice benches outside to stop and have a little snack. And no matter what time of day you come around here, the lighting, Mwah. Immaculate. I mean, the only other place that even comes close to having the same vibes is all the way on the other side of campus at the Smith Campus Center. And rumor has it, Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in this very seat. Nah, I'm just kidding. Wouldn't that be cool though? Located right outside the gates, the Smith Center goes down as one of the best study spots on the entire campus. I mean, directly inside, you have a bunch of different restaurants and coffee shops to grab a bite to eat. And right in the middle, you'll find the most aesthetic room on campus, the Harvard Commons. Now this room is exclusive to students and we did sneak in here, so we do have to be a little bit more low key. But all around here, you're gonna find a bunch of different study spots, some nice greenery for the aesthetic, and they always have a lo-fi playlist on that just can't be beat. But speaking of getting beat, that's something that Yale does extremely well in the game. Huh? You see what I did there? Go Grim, baby. Now, right across the Charles River, you'll run right into the Harvard Stadium, which in my opinion is one of the most badass football stadiums in the entire country. I mean, this place looks like it's straight out of the Roman Empire with a ton of Coliseum-like aspects to it. And considering this place is over 100 years old, I think it's safe to say that this place has more football culture than Florida State and Bama combined. I know, it's some pretty crazy shit. But all this talk about football is, uh, it's kind of making me hungry. So I'll meet you guys over at our next stop. So crossing back over the bridge, you'll run right into Harvard Square, which literally serves as a one-stop shop for everything you may need. I mean, they have a bunch of different places to shop. The Harvard Bookstore, a CVS, 
that's low key a little sketchy. One of the best barbecue places I've ever had in my life. A tea station, a tasty burger, and my favorite place of them all, Pinocchio's Pizza, where you can get yourself a nice slice of Sicilian cheese pizza. So for right now, I'm gonna dig into this. Wait, wait, wait. We forgot the housing. Oh shit. So I might have gotten a little too excited with the pizza and completely forgot about the housing situation. But pretty much after freshman year, you're assigned a specific house to live in for the next three years, just like Harry Potter. And if you're lucky, you'll end up in one of the lovely houses like Winthrop House, Lowell House, Kirkland House, Dunster House, Leverett House, Quincy House, Mathers House, shout out Eminem. And last but not least, we have the one, the only, Elliot House. Woo! <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go eat this damn pizza. So now that you guys have seen every part of Harvard's campus, you guys are ready to take this place head on. And if you can't tell by the sun, this video literally took us all day to film. So if you guys want to drop a little thumbs up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you want to join the family and help us hit 100K by the end of the year, you can click right here. So for right now, I'm gonna fuck up this pizza. So I'll see y'all next week. Which in my opinion is one of the most badass stadium. What the fuck? Which in my opinion, what the fuck? I think it's it. Mm. I think it's safe to. What the fuck is wrong with my voice today? <laughs>